So it's, <clears throat> I, I am told that it is not possible. So I am here in front of you with this variance with no cross parking agreement or cross parking letter, if you will, um, uh, to say to you that uh, uh, you know, our, our only option is to go back to the renovating structure or do the, uh, do the uh, 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 diner and, and either look for a small tenant or uh, you know, change directions or whatever. But that's, I'm not, that's not the city's problem, that's our problem. Um, and I just, uh, that, that's all I have to add. If you've got any questions about any of those things, I'd be happy to answer. When you say there's no way to get an agreement across parking, are you talking about with the hurricane grill and wings people? Or your neighbors, neighbors adjacent. Neighbors, yeah, yeah. Because Denny's Hurricane Grill and Wings are the same, in essence, same corporation. My concern is you're gonna have a lot more employees because you got two businesses there. Employees have to park somewhere. Um, this hurricane grill and wings, I'm, I know y'all have probably done a study, but you know <coughs> Who your main patrons are, and I think I would think that would be a big drawing card for college students who are not very good about carpool. So you're going to have an abundance of cars, and I mean, from the way I look at it, you're not even going to have the parking spaces that you have now for one building, let alone for two businesses. I can't dispute anything you say. There, there is an issue that I didn't bring up, but since you brought it up, we do not have two businesses that have concurrent peak hours. Denny's is primarily, and I'll call it what it is, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, breakfast and, and brunch, okay? You go over there at two o'clock in the afternoon, and you know, I'm mean, sorry to say it, there's not many people there. Uh, her King Bill Wings, peak is after that, okay? They don't open until 11.30. Oh, it's either 11 or 11.30. I may have said 11 in the application. Um, they, they close at, depending on the, the, uh, the, the day of the week and what uh, 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 beer, wine, liquor regulations state, they will stay open later than uh, you know, some other fine dining restaurant, okay? So, so it'll be open until, you know, 1130 or midnight or whatever. Um, Denny's is deserted during that time. And, and again, I'm sorry to, sorry to say that, but I mean, you know, 50% of our uh, franchise-wide holdings, 50% of our business is Friday, <coughs> Saturday, and Sunday breakfast and lunch. That's 50% of the whole week is Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday. So, you know, there, there's a lot of uh, non-concurrence there, I guess, is, I don't, if, if, you under, if you understand what I'm getting at. There's not a lot of overlap in terms of time. Exactly. I, I, I think I, I did compare the times. There was about, I want to say, almost 25% uh, overlap because they open at 11.30 or 11, and until, you know, whenever Denny's lunch is over, you know, one, two o'clock or whatever. So for the whole seven days, about 25% overlap, you know. Um, it's funny, there's a sign right there, a lot of it says any, any place of any import always has parking. If, if it's worth its salt, what, is it, what does it say? If it's worth its salt, it has a parking. I don't go out to peak very often for a variety of reasons, but one of the reasons why I don't go out to eat is because I don't like having to search for a parking place. So if I came into this place and I said, oh look, I can park at that hotel, because I circle around in the parking lot school and I go around to the, and I don't mind getting the steps because, you know, so I park around. Is the hotel going to tow my car because you don't have a parking agreement with them? Are your customers going to come out and find their cars gone because they thought, well, they probably have a cross-parking agreement with this hotel that people are staying at the hotel and walking over there. I'm going to tell you honestly, I can't tell, I can't answer that. 
Is there a possibility? I'm, yes, there's a possibility. Yes. You don't have, a, you don't have one of these in existence now? Oh, together? No, the hurricane. Yes, sir. We have uh, 65 restaurants now in about 11 states. Have you have all done the, the numbers on that to know what? I mean, what I, I, I mean, the way I see it is we're, we're mm -hmm. here to make sure we do what's best in the best in our right. community. But as well, I mean, you know, you'd be foolish to go build a building and only provide a limited number of parking spaces. I mean, you've got a vested interest in this too, obviously, than the owners, whoever. So my question is, do y'all feel like, I mean, I guess you wouldn't come this far if you didn't, but I want to hear you say, you feel like the parking 66 spaces is enough to support. And to, you know, to piggyback off what they're saying and your customers, you know, at least the problems in trying to find a place across the street, running across the street, and, you know. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you honestly, okay? We have a lot of these diners that are on their own piece of property, or in another is an out parcel, if you will. Uh, the majority of the uh, or can grow wings in existence are within, in line, in a shopping center. I only know of one that is an out parcel uh, in uh, close to Raleigh, North Carolina. <clears throat> um, the marketing suggests that an out parcel building will do better than an in line building. Okay? That's not the answer for you, but, but, but the answer is I don't have any facts tell you about if two of them are together in another place, how it would be done. I don't, I don't have any facts. But the, the only thing I can I can suggest to you is, is that with the number of hotel rooms in the area, not not just on our side of the street, but in that area, it would suggest that there could be some people walking to the restaurant. Uh, whether they're from just behind us, beside us, across the street, we've got brand new Traffic light with a, uh, with a pedestrian crosswalk. Uh, yeah, there's a possibility that there's a lot of cross issues. I mean, the cafe, I think but good. again, can can I can I require that? Can you regulate it? No. And I still go back to the employee situation. What is the average number of employees that you have? Uh, again, at a I, Denny's on at a Denny's at any time? No, at your busy time. Oh, at the busy time? Mm -hmm. Five. Usually, usually three servers and manager. No, excuse me, six. Uh, uh, a dishwasher and a cook. Yeah. And, and when times get busy, the manager jumps in and cooks. So I'm going to say six. Hurricane Grill and Wings is obviously another story. Okay, they've got uh, at least three people in the kitchen because they have fryers going, they've got salads going, they've got sandwiches going. They've got uh, upwards of uh, five or six servers, and they have, a, they have a bartender, and they have a, uh, a, a greeter that also works the to-go. So, you know, 11 or 12 employees in that case. And, and that's peaked. George and Mark is going to ask if you consider the possibility of not going to have a parking space in this particular project. What, was it discussed? Yes. Was was there any? I mean, uh, before we came, before the Dennis renovation occurred. Uh, you mean with the existing building being renovated? No. Wasn't any, there wasn't any discussion of it at all. Is, now, is the freight going up right now for the hurricane? The, 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 the permit that uh, Stacy was talking about is only for the metal plant building, and it is in for review for permit to be placed the way, the way that you, you know, the, the metal plant building that you approved, uh, uh, that, that was the issue. So it, 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 it is in for permits. Let me oh. just ask you, was that, the size of that Denny's has not changed, has it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's what I was going to say, because originally I thought it was like a little. Oh, no, we're six, no, we're 6,600 square feet today. That building there is 39, 3190. 3190. Yeah. The, new, the new Denny's that they're bringing in is 
half the size of the existing building. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, there hasn't been any change. I'm sorry, well, I should clarify. Well, from, from the last time you no, came here and presented well, that building, the, the no silver. Change. It looked like a mobile home, and now it's got a different shape. I mean, it looked like a mobile home. Not 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 a mobile home.
their, their model suggests that they, they need those number of seats. Is it possible to cut it down? Yes, absolutely. If, uh, if we come to, excuse me, if the board comes to the informal issue of, you know, uh, approve or deny, and uh, uh, we're asked, you know, can you, can you come back and, and cut it down? Can you come back and change things? Or can you come back and, and, uh, and, and look at other issues? You know, the answer is yes. We, we, we can do that. If, if, uh, if we could ask for a postponement to do that, I, I'd be happy to do that. Now, can I do it in a month? I don't know. But can, 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 can I live with a postponement? Or can, can we look at something else? I, I don't know what else there is to look at except what you just suggested. Yeah, I've got a question yeah. for, for y'all. How many parking spots, how many seats does Buffalo Wild Wings have for Hooters? How many parking spots do they have? I mean, how many do they actually fit? Oh, man, we don't know. Buffalo's is an out parcel with the mall. Right. Um, they probably have shared parking with the mall proper, so it would not be as big an issue there. Hooters is a standalone property. Um, it's not a very large building. don't have enough parking spaces, then it's not economical for them because if people can't park, they're not going to come eat. So they're somewhat cutting their throat, so to speak, unless they park somewhere else, in which case they are risking being towed or ticketed or something. That's the school. There's different schools of thought. One thinks you know, the customers will not go there and will find somewhere else. Um, but the other one is if there are parking spaces available on adjacent properties, they're going to park there. They're going to park there. It becomes incumbent on that other property owner or business owner to monitor their own parking lot or trespassers and decide if they want to tow or not. Well, um, here, well, from a practical measure, uh, aside from walking across St. Augustine Road, which I don't think most people would want to do, you've got a very large hotel parking lot immediately behind. My guess is if the space is physically available, people are going to park there. Mm -hmm. Probably think just like they do now when Denny's gets really full. I've been to Denny's when there was no parking in the Denny's parking lot. Uh, and I had to park on the front of the hotel. That would be a Saturday morning breakfast. But what they're saying is that they won't agree to a cross-parking easement even though they're the same entity? No, 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 shared parking no, agreement is between the <coughs> restaurants collectively and the hotel. Uh, okay, for clarification purposes, for discussion purposes, the hotels are Williams. Correct. Right, the, you, the diner. Can we clarify real quick? Is that both hotels? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's one owner. Yes. Okay. And, and Two I'm hotels looking. on one parcel, owned by the Williams, and right now they are not. Another one of the requirements for a cross-parking agreement, Williams would have to have extra spaces. Williams does not have extra spaces now, so that's another flying norm. So Correct. where I'm going with this is, other than, what, where is the city, why the regulations is, that say this, that they're concerned about fire safety, too many people in it? Are they worried about traffic in and out? Well, they get up in congestion on property and overloading neighboring properties. That's why you have parking standards that require a minimum number of parking spaces. And people often forget that word minimum is there. It's perfectly fine to have more parking. And I'll right. give you an example. Um, and it's just observation. Different restaurants are more successful than others. Um, a recent example is Cheddar's on Norman Drive. It's a very successful restaurant. They meet the parking requirement and actually exceed the minimum. They do not have enough parking on their property to accommodate their needs. People park in the neighboring Hammond Mountain property. Before it was built, they filled up that grass field in front of Hampton Inn. They still do. Well, I find it strange, though, is what we're talking about is stuff that engineering should have been commenting on. And engineering had no comment with, with the reduction of parking. I mean, I agree they, they do say due to the number of projected parking spaces, but 
if engineering wasn't concerned about traffic and they uh, find that kind of strange that uh, they report says what it does. Sometimes we think the same. And I have to take it at face value. Uh, engineering focuses more on the design elements of the parking, not the quantity of parking spaces. They leave the numbers to us, just like we leave the pavement to them. It's sort of an, uh, an unwritten judgment agreement between departments, but that's often the case. Well, and the comment that they had here is the hotel's parking won't be full at the restaurant's peak hour. That's almost not right, because if this is going to be an evening restaurant where people come from 6 until 10, people get off the interstate starting around 8 o'clock and they fill up those hotels and you know by 11, those hotel parking lots are full up. Is that Jerry's comment? Was that Jerry? I mean, Jerry, yeah, yeah. Jerry makes comments. But I think the issue is that they don't have the right to comment about an adjacent property that there's no agreement with. I mean, it's like saying, you know, the hotel won't be full, the parking lot, so there's a spillover there, when I think we're going to have an opposition out there. <laughs> uh, just another thing, just so you know, um, in the LBR, there are provisions for shared parking, and for shared parking on property next door if parking is available. There's also a provision built into the code or sharing a parking between uses, like within the same property. It's generally intended for a mixture of uses, like if you have a dentist's office and a restaurant, sharing a parking lot that operate at different hours, mm -hmm. there's some room for overlap. There's a fairly complicated matrix, and it looks something like this, but it's in the LDR, that we assign percentages of capacity to different time slots. So in other words, if one business is busy in the morning, the other one's busy in the 